Hi everyone, just a short message before this video starts. No, this video is not sponsored. I wish it were, but no. What I wanted to talk about is a bit uh, less positive. You see, I recorded this video with my phone upright, because that's how the game plays. And I wanted to put a background image to make it, you know, able to be seen, also in landscape mode. But there's this weird issue lately, where every time I try doing that sort of thing, the entire video gets extremely grainy and that happened in this instance too so I didn't want uh, I still wanted to make a video out of this because I thought this was a pretty cool game so what I basically had to do was shrink the screen down to one third of uh, the original size to just turn it into landscape mode without a background picture so yeah the you can basically see a third of what I was able to see so if at any point during the video I uh, uh, reference something off screen the, you know now you know what uh, what that's about it's not my fault but yeah just keep that in mind so without further ado what up YouTube it's Luca and welcome back to another video so today I'm playing another random game I wanted to do that for this video and while searching, I came across this game, which seemed really interesting. This game is called Sea Shine, and the premise is basically that you have to survive in the deep dark ocean as a little uh, bioluminescent jellyfish, which sounded really interesting. So I don't know if there's really a goal to, uh, to this game, but I guess we just have to find our way forward. That's our goal. As you can see, it looks it looks pretty beautiful, and yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna be playing this game, so I guess we can also explore different types of fish as we uh, as we go along. And these little fish over here, these uh, bioluminescent fish, they restore our light uh, power, so we have to collect them. Yeah, I don't know what our objective is. I guess it's just to survive. As long as possible but this seemed like a really interesting game so i wanted to try it out there are also like plenty of people saying some pretty good things about the game so you control this little like fish oh we have a star here give me that yeah so the stars uh i kind of skipped over the tutorial or actually i was recording during the tutorial but i had the volume of the game up way too loud so i don't know if is that a dangerous thing no that's just on the foreground so basically what these stars do is they can act as a an emergency resupply for my uh, light and i'm guessing when my my light goes out i'm more vulnerable to like those types of creatures i'm gonna assume this guy is dangerous so i'll stay away from him and there's also is that a blobfish yeah Look at him. Yeah, so anyway, I basically control this guy by uh, swiping on my screen. Which is also really interesting. Whoa. Okay, there's another blobfish there. I don't know what this thing, these things do. They are pulsating, so it looks to me like they're probably alive. So yeah, we've survived. Whoa. Okay, that, that's a dangerous guy. Yeah, come on. There's a star up here. So, yeah, I can double tap the stars and they give me an emergency power supply. Because, like, I do believe I use up some of my power every time I swipe and move anywhere. So, yeah, I've got this guy hot on my tail, Jesus. He won't, he won't let up. But, hey, we found some more stars. I guess our measure of survival is determined by how many of these fish we collect. So, I guess that's good. Oh, we got a star, I guess. Okay, yeah, I've got it. And now let's go into this cramped, uh, cramped hallway. Yeah, so it is a little bit difficult to control, as I'm sure you're aware by the chase scene that I just went through. And speaking of chase scene, I'm gonna have to run away now again. So it seems like, oh no, he's he's still coming for me. He is smart enough to uh, find find a way. Oh, we've got another guy. 
but we can outsmart him. Oh, these plants can also give me my power back. What? Stay away. No. No, come on. Okay, that was really close. Uh, we can get some more stars here, but we have to be quick. I am uh, fairly certain that guy is probably still on our tail. So let's carry ourselves with uh, the stream. What in God's name is that thing? Really? I can I can fit through here. This looks like something I could just barely fit food through. But I guess I'll go the other way. And there's actually a star here. So maybe it was better to go here after all. Yeah. I, I, have, I have a guy stuck to me. He's siphoning my power. And that's not good. Oh, there's another one. I think that's the... Say Whoa! Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of here. Help me. No, I'm stuck. Is that guy still here? That, like, huge guy? He is still here. I'm getting out. What is that thing? Okay, I can't get back out. Uh, I'm gonna have to face him. Plus, like, this other little guy. Yeah, uh, can't I get out through, like, here? Come on. Okay, yeah, I'm running low on power. But let's get another star. We need to find some more of those fish. Let me just see what happens if I run out of light. Like if I let the bar deplete. Oh, I I just implode. Okay. Oh, well, something just broke up above. I'll go check it out. If I can uh, get these rocks out of the way. Yeah, what's calling this? That's just rocks dropping from all over the place, from up above. And there's nothing here. So that's interesting. Yo, what the hell? We just covered like an eel or something. I think it's probably after me. And we discovered another thing. We've entered like a whole new area, it seems like. Yeah, we've got bigger, these big guys. Come here. Let me eat you. So yeah, let's let's go further up. See if we can find anything new. What the hell is that thing? It's like a squid. And yeah, I'm I'm taking damage. I'm like poisoned, which is not good. So yeah, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of scary stuff uh, up here, up here, or a lot of spiky stuff. Oh, okay, we've got we've got more of these things. Uh, yeah, they they hurt they hurt a lot they hurt a lot. Alright, give me my light back and get these guys to leave me the hell alone. Okay, so this 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 thing keeps like being stuck to me. I think it mentioned somewhere that I needed like some kind of crystals to get rid of it. So, yeah, ow. Okay, I'm bumping into him. Ow, okay, I'm, I'm bumping into, like, volcanic stuff. So, oh, wow. What the hell? I just got teleported somewhere. I think. I don't know what just happened. But anyway, we need these, this, these, like, crystals ASAP. Because this thing is making my light drain much quicker. And also, there's still this puffer fish after me. What? So, we've got these, like, volcano-esque things. Which is interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. Okay. I got teleported again. I don't know where I am, though. Can I get out of here? Oh, yeah, here. I can move this rock out of the way. There we go. Uh, but now, where do I go is the question. I can't really go anywhere. What the hell? I'm just stuck here. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> no. I've been dealt a bad hand by nature. And I just ran into the worm by myself. 
I even, I even got an achievement for it. It's probably an achievement for dying within like 10 seconds. So I'm not really proud of achieving that one. Whoa! Hello? Human, uh, can you please get me out of here? Oh look, it's following me. Yeah, look. It's following me. It's observing me. I mean, is there a human inside there? It might just be like on autopilot. And yeah, look at it. There's humans down here. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go on with my travels now. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, no, that's obviously like a, a, a Venus flytrap or something. I'm not going in there. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, I've, I've entered... What the hell? I've entered this, like, dead space. Yeah, there's nothing There's nothing around me. I just saw, like, another puff of fish, but... Oh, here's here's a roof. And I'm tra chasing this guy. He's pretty fast. But I might be able to get him. There we go. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just travel along the edge. It's a pretty big... Uh, Open space. What the hell is that thing? Yo, I'm being chased by something straight out of like aliens. Yeah, no, fa no thanks. What in God's name is that thing? Okay, I'm coming across all sorts of new stuff. And all of it seems to hurt me. What the hell is this thing? Okay, I just I just used another portal. You know, nothing to see here. And oh we're at like a shipwreck. Look. It's a full on shipwreck down here. Yeah, is there anything we can collect here? It doesn't look like there is. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video on uh, Sea Shine. I think this game is actually pretty good. I mean I don't see myself playing it for like, you know, over and over again. I do think it's probably going to get boring quite quickly. I guess you can unlock the different uh, jellyfish. But I think the atmosphere is really good. Like the game looks stunning. So yeah, I, I think the experience is really enjoyable. Also something else that people probably want uh, to know. I actually didn't get any ads in this uh, recording session. I mean, I guess two times the game asked me to follow their Twitter, but beyond that, nothing. So that's really welcome. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this game if only for like, a but I think the atmosphere is really good. Like the game looks stunning. So yeah, I, I think the experience is really enjoyable. Also something else that people probably want uh, to know I actually didn't get any ads in this uh, recording session. I mean, I guess two times the game asked me to follow their Twitter, but beyond that, nothing. So that's really welcome. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this game if only for like a couple of tries. And yeah, I'm uh, gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you enjoyed and want to see more one-off random games like this. And I hope to see you all in a good mood in the next video. I'm going to go now. Goodbye everyone.